Today we will discuss the criminal offense of theft and various degrees of and ramifications of uh, the allegation of theft. Um, there are three important elements in the definition of theft. Um, the first element is an item of value. Um, the second is the intent by the defendant to appropriate that item. And the third is without the effective consent of the owner. Now, the owner can be any individual who has a greater right to the property than the defendant who is attempting to take and appropriate that property to his or her own benefit. Uh, frequently questions are asked uh, about complaints or indictments that include the name of a clerk at a store as opposed to the owner of the store, for instance, as the individual who has a greater right of ownership to that property than the person who is attempting to take it. Um, that's okay as long as that individual has a greater right to that property than the individual who is attempting to appropriate that property. Theft is defined as the misappropriation of property without the effective consent of the owner. Uh, and the property can be as less as $100 in value, which is a Class C misdemeanor, up to a first degree felony, which is $300,000 of value or more. Additionally, an individual can be charged uh, with the offense of theft if the item that is appropriated or misappropriated by the defendant is um, reported to be a stolen item uh, and the individual knows that it is stolen. Uh, the individual still goes out and misappropriates the property. Additionally, an individual who misappropriates property that has been represented by a police officer as being stolen, uh, and the individual has reason to believe, based on that representation, that the property is stolen, um, commits the offense of theft.